welcome back to another episode of Path TV. By the way, everybody does that. They're not ready. <laughs> I'm ready always. So what are you I talking about? I'm you. ready. You were. Okay, you were. You've been looking at time. something down there. Still ready. That was my fault, though. Still ready. Uh, Larry Sharp, my guest, who, um, you know, again, I never really know how to introduce you. You are the sage. I'm you the Neo Sage. I'm the new market man. themselves. Yes, how to market, how to sell, it's important. Guest instructor at. people. Guest instructor at Columbia. Columbia's Graduate School of Business, FIT, and CUNY. Wow. Absolutely. Jeez. Teaching the people. More than what I do. See that? <laughs> I wanted to talk today about, um, because I, we're Facebook friends, mm -hmm. although what, what are Facebook friends nowadays <laughs> when you have so many? But know. I do see that you put up a lot of status updates and mm -hmm. they grab people's attention. Yep. And I thought that would be valuable for my audience to share. Now, I do a lot of uh, fan page administration, but mm -hmm. you can definitely be a marketer just for your own personal audience. Sure, sure. Where do you get these ideas from? And maybe I can you know, put some of them below. I mean, you come up with some very thought-provoking questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of people respond, so you have a dedicated audience. Absolutely. I don't know how you got there, but they're there, they're, they're commenting. I get new what people also. Also. all the time. I get new people to come on. All of a sudden, something will strike somebody. And even if people don't comment, I'll meet people someplace and they'll say, I remember that post you did. You know, that was a great one. There are times when I'll get 20 different comments on one thing I'll post. And I post often. I post about, well, I shouldn't say often. I post two or three times a day, every right. day. Right. And I do it via the tool you told me to use. Yes. So, uh, I use Which Hoot, is what? Hootsuite. Okay. Hootsuite. H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E.com. Uh, -O -O right. Put it and down here. I, I use that uh, to, to uh, most of the time pre-program most of my stuff at least two or three days in advance. Sometimes up to five days in advance, depends how I feel. But I have some rules on posting. The first one is Facebook is not just a business tool, it's a personal tool. And I post things about my personal life, my daughter, my problems, right. my joys, when I'm out with, with other people, friends. So I do post things that I'm doing. Right. In addition, I post a lot of quotes. I pick quotes from people that I respect or things that make sense to me. Right. I try to find controversy. Often it's about power or influence or politics, things of that sort that people go, yes, I get it. Or, no, I don't get it. I'm the controversy guy, so I don't mind if you tell me I'm wrong. I'm totally clear, so I'm going to say, no, that's wrong. I'm okay with that, and I'll come back. But let's put it in perspective. I can't even come up with the ideas you put up on. Mm -hmm. So this is not for everybody. It's just fine. It what can you're be. Good at. Okay. It can be, and because I am a philosopher, it's who I am. Right. And so I care about philosophy, so I talk about philosophy. I also have a piece on test your geekness and little geek questions, because mm -hmm. I'm a geek also. So I right. like Star Trek and Star Wars and stuff like that, and Doctor Who. So right. I put that stuff up too. Now you might say, why would you do that? There's so many people who are not, who don't care about Doctor Who or Star Trek. Doesn't matter. I'm showing you who I am. Right. And I'll find people who do like it and they'll respond. People who don't like it will at least know who I am. And how is that, that valuable to your, your business? Insanely valuable for two important reasons. The first one is, as I ask open-ended questions, that's the philosopher in me, I right. ask questions about life. What's more important? Who's important to you? Is this right or wrong? I'll ask right. open-ended questions to get people to talk because I learn about my audience. Mm -hmm. So I have about 800 people give or take on my Facebook page in that area. About fifteen hundred. And not a fan page. page. It's more. Of it's a my personal, personal page. Profile. It's just me. My personal profile. Absolutely. And, and let's say you, you, and you're not a developer, or I mean, you're actually you're a great marketer. Thank you. Offline, mm -hmm. you're just leveraging it with Facebook. Yes. So, and but you're an average person on Facebook. Absolutely. So, I mean, anybody can do this. I meet people, and then I get them to be my LinkedIn friend, and then my Facebook friend. Right. I meet them first, then I make that happen. And what I'm doing is I'm showing them who I am. The ideas I get are things that matter to me. I put them up. Right. And. I love quotes, so I'll find quotes from books that Stop I like. Stop right there. We're gonna, pull out we'll, we'll get into that in a second, in mm -hmm. a second episode. But real quick, because you have uh, an event coming up on I do marketing yourself and absolutely. selling yourself. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it, it so the, I can put it down here. It is the U-Base sales course. It is nine weeks long, three hours every Tuesday night from 5.30 to 8.30, which includes workbook, role play, one-on-one, -on -one, how to prospect better, pitch better, and close better, all and three. You can find that on uh, your website. Neo-sage.com, starts September 14th. Very nice, all right. Well, you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time. Take care.